So, here we are, setting up the gear to take the girls out on the lake and see whether or not we can catch some brook trout. Um, on one of the lakes near the Vinter system, and it only has brook trout in it. Got a little bit more wind than I expected, but I think they're going to be able to handle that. And hopefully we're going to be getting into some fish pretty soon. <laughs> we're almost done. What fly are you going to put? You know, I think we're probably going to start out with some streamers um, and the Double McDonald's Google Burger is the best one. <laughs> what is it called? It's called the Double McDonald's Google Burger. Are you making this and up? It's, uh, well, we make up all the names of all the flies, don't we? I mean, the ones that we invent. I'll show you. <laughs> but I meant it's like a serious name that other people would also know. Uh, no, why would someone else know the name of the fly that I invented other than my clients? And yes, if you ask uh, anyone in the clients that's fished in this system, they're going to know and don't. It's Google Burger. Oh my god. He's an Apollo leader. average brook trout that you would probably find in the Appalachian Range. I generally, when I'm fishing streamers, will use a loop knot instead of an improved clinch knot. I use improved clinch knots for small flies like dry flies and nymphs and things like that. Um, but a streamer that I want to kind of have some added motion underwater, I'm going to use a loop knot on. And I also like the loop knot because in my experience it's stronger. I've done tests when I'm pulling on tip it that has an improved clinch knot tied on one end and a loop knot on the other and I'm pulling on it at the center and the loop knot has always held better. Okay, here we are ready to go ladies. Okay, Heidi Shots hooked one. A razor rod so that you've got the flex of the rod as a drag as well. Yeah, I know. We've seen it twice, haven't we? I saw him Basically, when the fish pulls really hard, your rod's flex acts as like acts like just like a drag. Basically, it keeps the line from snapping. Just bring him to me. If you can, mommy's gonna get him by the tail. Look at that fish. Okay, look over towards me. Wow. You don't see the fish, Aya? Okay, let me see his fish. Turn him around the other way again. A 19 inch brook trout. Okay, I just got to hook a, what looks like a bigger fish here. Um, and we've been fighting it. We're gonna try and bring it to the net, but we're not in a huge rush. That's a male. Okay, bring him, swing him right over here. I said, why is my mom catching fish? I'm not catching fish. Okay, let's put him back in the net. Okay, the fly's already out. Nice harvest fly. Um, this one is 21 inches. Strip. Good, now strip. Strip. Yep, keep reeling, 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 reeling. Keep reeling. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you got her huge brook trout with daddy's help. 22 and a male. Bigger 22. You got a bigger brook trout than me. Fish. Oh. Too big for you to hold him? Okay. Okay, let's put him back in the water for a minute. Man, what a gorgeous fish. That fish weighs five pounds. 